First thing is to call it. It'll be a roll call vote. Manager Wegeman. Here. Manager Waller. Here. Manager Bradley. Here. Manager Priner here. Okay, the next thing is to set the agenda. Would you like to add or change the agenda today? President Priner, we do have an adjustment uh, clarification for the consent agenda that uh, Patrick will share with you. Okay, Patrick. Yes, uh, President Priner, Board of Managers, uh, we would like to add an additional application to the consent agenda list. Uh, I would like to point out that the materials are in the packet. It was just omitted from the list here. So um, the application number, I'll just read across the row there, is 22-048. The applicant is Roseville Investment Partners, LLC. The location is Roseville. The plan type is final site drainage plan. And the recommendation is Caprock five items. Okay, anything else? Anybody else? Uh, President Pryor, maybe just for the record, that's distinctly different than the 22046 that's already on the list but same applicant okay all right so first thing we have the agenda and we need a motion madam president i move to accept the agenda as amended second motion man second all in favor oh we have to do a roll call manager waller yes manager wagman yes manager bradley yes manager priner yes motion passes <clears throat> approval of the minutes uh, Madam President, I move to approve the June 20th, 2022 special workshop minutes. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Manager Wegeman? Um, nope. See. Let's see. And then, are we? did we vote on that? Is, That's she, the vote. We have to do a roll call because you're off site. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. Nope. Yes. Okay. Manager Waller. Yes. Manager Bradley. Yes. Manager Priner. Yes. Motion passes. Okay. And Madam President, I move to approve the June 22, 2022 regular meeting minutes. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Manager Wegeman. Yes. Manager Waller. Yes. Manager Bradley. Yes. Manager Priner. Yes. Motion passes. Consent agenda. Uh, President Priner, yes, we have a couple of quick changes to make uh, for the record here. Um, the first one would be on page 20 of the packet. Uh, relates to application 22-044. Uh, in the top right on that page, uh, it incorrectly identifies the permit application number as 22-041. Mm -hmm. So I'll make that 22-044. And then we have an identical change for both 22-046 and 22-048. As Nick mentioned, it's the same applicant, pretty much the same project location. Um, but I can walk you through that. So on page 27 of the packet, under the findings section, uh, number one, description, uh, on the third line down. Um, I guess I can just kind of read it here. Uh, drainage from the site will flow to the regional underground filtration system constructed under 20-033. And then we'd like to change that parentheses uh, to just say as administratively amended on 10-4-2021. And then we'd make that exact same change on page 37 of the packet. And again, that would be under the findings section, number one description. Uh, it's the same exact sentence. Same sentence. Any questions for Patrick from the board? Madam President, mm -hmm. any confirmation it's the same date that it was administratively amended? That's correct. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Consent agenda. Would you like to make a motion? Madam President, can I ask a question first? Certainly. Uh, on both of these that you just amended, there's a reference to a regional underground filtration system. 
who owns it and have they approved? Yes, so it is all the same applicant. They did a, I guess, kind of a master plan of a parcel in Roseville. They did that under 20-033. That was issued and then amended administratively on that October 4th, 2021 date. So um, I don't know that we've received as built of the system. Um, I think that's the stipulation that we're requesting on, on both of 2246 and 2248. So it's all kind of being constructed now. Okay, so we don't need a city approval or anything for that. Okay. Well, with that, Madam President, let's see, I gotta get myself on the right page. That's right. Okay, I would uh, uh, recommend or move that we cap rack the projects 19-009, in accordance with the Rice Creek Watershed District Engineer's findings and recommendations dated July 6, 2022. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? If not, Major Wagaman? Yes. Manager Waller? Yes. Manager Bradley? Yes. Manager Freiner? Yes. Motion passes. Open mic. Seeing nobody in the audience for open mic, we, if somebody comes in, we'll address it later. But right now, we'll go to items requiring board action. Peterson Companies, pay request. Oh. Yes. Uh, Madam President? There he is. Okay. Yep. Can, I, can everybody hear me okay? Yes. Okay, great. Um, yes, for your consideration is uh, pay request number two, a partial pay request for Peterson Companies Incorporated for our uh, replacement of the Preby Lake outlet structure. Um, uh, as you'll see in the packet, uh, district engineer uh, and staff recommends uh, that uh, payment of $16,227.50 be issued to Peterson Companies uh, as detailed in the pay request. The project again is substantially complete at this time. We're just waiting for um, delivery and installation of the aluminum stop log structures, uh, which is expected to be uh, taken care of in mid-August. Mid so, um, and that'll leave, it leaves about $10,000 that we owe Peterson for that structure, uh, which will be paid at a later date, so. Well, we'll have a motion. Any, any other questions for Kyle? Oh. Madam President, I move to approve the Peterson Companies Inc.'s pay request as submitted and certified by the district engineer and direct staff to issue a payment in the amount of $16,227.50. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Roll call. Manager Wagaman? Yes. Manager Waller? Yes. Manager Bradley? Yes. Manager Craner? Yes. Motion passes. Check register. Uh, Madam President, I move to approve the check register dated July 13th, 2022 in the amount of $73,142.56 prepared by Red Path and Company. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Roll call. Manager Wagaman. Yes. Manager Waller. Yes. Manager Bradley. Yes. Manager Kreiner. Yes. Motion passes. Okay, items for discussion, watershed-based implementation funding. Kyle. Yes, uh, Madam President, members of the board, just a brief update um, for, for all of you on the status of that uh, program. As you're aware, we have um, uh, been convening the, uh, a convene uh, committee, uh, which consists of the Rice Creek Watershed District, um, our three SWCD partners in Anoka, um, Washington and Ramsey counties, uh, Washington County itself. Um, who else do we have on there? And then there are two uh, two city um, representatives on the committee as well. Uh, Mounds View and New Brighton uh, have been serving as a primary uh, uh, members on that committee. White Bear Township is an alternate. And uh, we've had two meetings so far. Uh, we are uh, looking at some project proposals. Uh, there's about $407,000 in funding available to our watershed generally uh, through that uh, through the Bowser watershed based implementation funding program. Um, it looks as this at this time that we have enough um, project proposals 
uh, to likely utilize all of that funding, which is uh, outstanding. Um, and uh, we'll be meeting with the group, um, I think on July 29th, uh, last part of July, to hopefully um, uh, finalize that list and uh, then get that submitted into Bowser uh, for their consideration right away. So um, a number of those projects, I'm not gonna go into details on, on what we're looking at right now, um, uh, pending uh, you know, committee discussions that are yet to occur, but um, there are a few projects that uh, likely would be led by the watershed district itself. So um, we are looking at um, bringing some of that funding to our agency. Um, as well as some of our partners. So uh, we'll share more uh, more on that with the board when we have uh, direction from the committee. But uh, with that, I'd just take any questions you may have and um, just wanted to share that update. Things are going well. Uh, well, I will say one other thing I did wanna mention, um, you know, we had some discussion early on with this program about uh, which, um, you know, MOD has had some concern, watershed districts in the Metro had some concern about how Bowser was implementing uh, the program and which management plans were eligible uh, to be considered uh, for uh, funding through this program. So uh, as it stands, watershed district plans um, and uh, are eligible uh, county groundwater plans, which in our area is only Washington County. And then uh, SWCDs were, uh, if they wish to, were able to uh, create what's called an enhanced annual work plan um, to have some of their own projects that they might wish to submit that maybe aren't in the watershed plan or otherwise. Um, I will just note that has not really been a an issue for our watershed area. So maybe that's an issue elsewhere, um, but our partners are all working together very well. Um, and uh, uh, we'll note that I don't. I, none of our SWCDs have gone through that effort to create that enhanced plan at this point. So, um, and I don't know if that will would occur in the future or not, but for this cycle, um, you know, the the, the projects that are being proposed are all uh, supported by the watershed districts management plan, and um, and again that hasn't uh, hasn't proven to be an obstacle or a complication. Uh, so I just wanted to share that note with the board as well. Thank you, Nick. You had a comment. Uh, yes, thank you, President Priner. Uh, Kyle covered it pretty pretty okay. well there with uh, the good work we did on the watershed management plan. A lot of the projects that our our partners would be looking for, <coughs> the cities. <coughs> conservation districts are already in the plan. Uh, so that enhancement, uh, if you will, from the conservation districts isn't, at this point anyway, seen as a necessity. Um, I will note, and maybe Kyle can comment on it, You just to recall the, the iteration last time <clears throat> uh, the watershed-based uh, funding came through, it was East Mississippi, uh, you know, more of the macro, before that, we were at the, the, they gave the money to each, uh, or the district took the pilot money and distributed to our three counties uh, and so on. Uh, so it is indeed in this essence, uh, mac, uh, micro, if you will, watershed, uh, the, the money coming, as Kyle noted, generally to the district where we are uh, <clears throat> directing management of the water resources through our plan and, and then brought back to our partners and have those discussions through the convene group. So just noting the distinction there as the, the program progresses through time. Comments from the board, questions for Kyle? Uh, Madam President, thank you. Um, so Kyle, it's been a couple of years since we actually finished the plan. And uh, I was looking at the, the board representation here and I see you have two cities, uh, both of them are from Ramsey County. And uh, so the, are, are, how are you engaging uh, a broader, there's 28 cities in the, in the district. None of these are from Anoka County, for example. And uh, so, uh, and have they any additional projects that maybe weren't in the plan a couple of years ago when they submitted them that, that things have changed? So uh, that's what I'm at. Give me a little update sure. there on how that goes. Sure, uh, Madam President, Manager Waller. Um, so the the way that Bowser has structured the convene committee, um, it, again, it allows for you know up to two um, members from from cities or townships within within our watershed, and uh, the way that it's described in in Bowser's program policy, the cities are to, if you will, self select uh, their representation on on the committee. So um, initially, I reached out to. 
all you know representatives from all of our 28 municipalities um you know advising them of this and encouraging them to uh you know to meet together or, or you know or you know kind of build their own leadership on this if, if they had interest um uh, Don Peterson from the City of Mounds View and Craig Schlichting from New Brighton uh, were uh, kind of took the reins to lead that and then further in, uh, tr attempted to interact with all of our municipalities uh, independently of, of, if you will, watershed district oversight or involvement, uh, which was great. It took a, a, a load off of my plate to uh, continue coordinating, coordinating that. So I do thank them for that personally. Um, but uh, as it turned out, uh, White Bear Township, uh, Jamie Phillip over there, uh, was the only other uh, city representative who expressed any interest uh, in in serving on the committee directly. So uh, we were able to incorporate her kind of as an alternate so she can uh, remain involved as well. Um, so I think it's just happened that way that, that folks are from Ramsey County. Um, you know, that could change in a future cycle, certainly. Um, our other cities that are out there um, have been you know, they've been asked about submitting projects. Uh, Craig and Don uh, have made those overtures to our partners. So uh, we just ended up not, you know, I, I don't know that we have any city uh, sponsored projects currently under consideration this time, but um, again, that can change in the future. And, um, uh, you know, we'll see where that goes and what the what the committee, um, you know, ends up doing with the funding here uh, later this month. But, um, you know, certainly there are, potentially projects that cities may have um, to answer the second part of your question that they may have uh, envisioned that are not in our watershed plans appendix G uh, mm -hmm. since it was last published. Um, you know, I don't know that that's something we're going to go through a process to update annually. Um, but it, certainly if, if there is something that is uh, a city has in mind that is um, uh, timely and needs to be added to that list, we could undertake that um, at relatively short notice if need be uh, otherwise i would look at that as maybe a you know maybe halfway through the plan if we want to look at updating that list um you know or, or what next time we have other updates uh to complete as well that's something we could uh, certainly uh, incorporate would be updating that appendix but uh, that's kind of where it stands right now uh, madam president then uh so kyle uh, that's fine that explains it uh, how the situation's working. The city representatives are to reach out amongst the cities and uh, mm -hmm. see what they all have to say and report back. Uh, so in the future, uh, uh, do you know what the Bowser's, this program's been kind of uh, fluctuating the last few years. Let's put it different ways. Has, a, has the Board of Soil and Water Resources reached a, a permanent way to do this? I mean, in that case, if they have, or if they have it, then if they have it, there's no need to, go any farther but if they have this is going to be the the, the uh, standard uh, process then uh, the uh, there would be a, a need maybe for the cities maybe to upgrade at that time or for us to adjust that so they because it, this has been kind of uh, one year it's one way one year it's another it's been there's been no consistency to it for a while and, and, and of course people have been unhappy with it all the way around for a number of years you add any color to that? Yeah, um, Madam President, Manager Waller, uh, certainly I will. I'm not going to speak for Bowser uh, with these comments, certainly, but it, it, the best that I can take away from discussions we've had, um, both in the, within the convene committee, which has included Bowser staff, uh, and you know, interpretations of uh, other discussions, larger program discussions I've been a part of. Um, you know, the project, the program is fairly new. This is the third um, biennial cycle for it. Uh, and I, I, your uh, Manager Waller, your um, um, uh, observations are, are correct in that it has changed every time. Uh, there have been frustrations with the program every time uh, in different ways. And um, I think Bowser understands that. Um, I think they're, they're starting to narrow in on um, a program structure that will likely be around for the long term. I don't think anyone's anticipating this program going away. Um, certainly funding levels could change from biennium to biennium um, and Bowser certainly could change how it is uh, um, implemented uh, from cycle to cycle as well. So um, I don't I, I don't think it'd be out, outside of the realm of possibility that we see some additional changes in the future um, as we all continue to learn more and experience uh, how we you know how we interact uh, through the program. So um, it's you know always learning uh, would be the the 
uh, the takeaway I have from it. And but I think we're we're starting to narrow in on what may be a long term structure. So. Any, anybody, any other comments for I assume that this is an annual funding rather than a biannual? Uh, it is biannual, uh, two okay. years, okay. every two years. So we won't be doing this next year? Uh, that would be correct, yes. It would be two years from now. Okay. The last cycle, I will add, the last cycle, we had only about a year between the last cycle and this one because it took so long to get that second cycle uh, un unrolled and, and, and uh, implemented at, at the state level because there were so many changes that occurred between the first and second cycle. So that's the why it seems kind of like it was back to back years this year, but um, I think in the future we'll see every other year. Okay. Uh, Madam President, only comment I have to make is thank you, Kyle. Uh, but uh, uh, hopefully uh, our, uh, our board members would encourage the the Bowser to, to find some certainty in how this is going to function. Uh, that's uh, very important for their planning, for our planning here at the district, for example, and, and uh, for all of our partners. Certainty is uh, essential. Yeah, it'd be nice if they would establish a timeline and say, we're going to have this. This is going to be our project after five years. That's the way it's going to run. Yeah, you put know, it in a five years. Yeah. Is, you know, we're going to we're going to do this this way for yeah, like five years er, er, or six years, yep. every two, three bienniums yep. or something yep. like that, you know. Uh, and so I thank you. We encourage. I hope our partners and and the district uh, encourage our friends at the Bowser to to uh, find some uh, stability, certainty. Thank you. Mm. Wait, yeah, go ahead. Yes, uh, President Priner, Board of Managers, uh, excellent uh, observations and, and certainty is uh, great in the, the program. Uh, in here, uh, it would be interesting to see how this first round goes when the funding's released and get those projects on the ground uh, for the resource. Uh, makes me think of uh, our discussion at the workshop regarding um, Centerville Lake and, and funding and that sort of thing and as these develop because the uh, the grant that Matt was referencing um, Clean Water Fund wasn't available for elm treatments at the time we did Bald Eagle Lake and so uh, we work within those certainties that exist in the moment and then they change and we're like all right here's here's a better opportunity or a better way to to go about it as as we move through time so will this be incorporated in our county city meeting when will that be this fall right that's a good idea i think that it, should be brought to them as how it worked this time yeah that, that excellent point. so they can understand it too. yes yes president Pryor will make a note of that as a, an agenda item that we can have the feedback loop and at least then the uh I think Kyle's done a good job of making the, the outreach to our, mm -hmm. our cities, but to reinforce that. So they understand how it came about and why they weren't, you know, yeah. they weren't participating, they weren't included, so. Right, right. That's up to them. Yeah, I, th I think our watershed management plan, those efforts and Kyle's outreach mm -hmm. uh, with, with them for the watershed management plan, for our stormwater management grant and those types of things were, we're checking all the boxes and, and adding it to the city county partner meeting is a is a good idea. Thank you. Okay. Anybody else? Thank you, Kyle. Thank you. Thank you Kim. Engineers update and timeline. Anything, Chris? Uh, Madam President, I'll note a couple different items there. Um, uh, first of which, uh, I'll note that um, with our Ramsey County uh, boundary review, we've hit a milestone. In that project, uh, in that project generally has two different phases. The first being um, determining where the physical um, watershed is, the divide between you know Rice Creek and its uh, adjoining watersheds, and uh, you know we've been working on that and have prepared a report and shared that with the cities and the adjacent watershed organizations and. Uh, got feedback from them and so now we have finalized that and and that's kind of that you know um you know, monumental point in that part of the project now where we'll be moving on to the next phase where we go to um determining or um recommending a um, political boundary change based on that hydrologic boundary so that that should actually take quite a bit less time to complete here we're going to be starting on that now and then 
Um, again, meeting back with the city and adjacent watershed organization partners, and then at some point you'll see our recommendation for that. Good. Uh, we did notice uh, a, a number of locations where the um, uh, watershed or hydrologic boundary is substantially different than the um, political boundary. So um, we will be, you know, recommending some, um, you know, significant changes at various locations. Well, that's what we're trying to find out. So, no. anything else from the board? Any questions? Or go ahead, Chris. You have more. Oh, well, one more item I'll note. Um, note County H25. Uh, we actually met with uh, DNR yesterday to um, uh, discuss uh, our historical review uh, memorandum. We had presented that to the board at a earlier workshop, and uh, um, DNR appreciated uh, the opportunity to have that discussion, to learn a little more about our rationale for doing. Um, um, doing, preparing the recommendations that we prepared. So they are going to be uh, taking a look at it a little bit closer and recommending some uh, informal comments on that uh, if they have any. Um, and it might not have any at all, but uh, they're going to be looking over that a little more detail in the next couple of weeks, again, informally. And then, um, you know, the next step for us would be to uh, schedule a public information meeting on that project. So. Uh, we'll likely be coming back to you in the not too distant future here with a recommendation for a date for a public information meeting and uh, and then uh, after that concludes then we'd be looking at doing the formal proceeding for reestablishing the record good any questions for Chris any questions all right administrative updates president Priner board of managers uh, nothing new really since our Monday's meeting that's good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Things are slow, right? Uh, I'll just note Chris's note about the, the bo legal boundary of the district and, and the implications of that. Uh, I was just chatting with Patrick ahead of the meeting, and, and we have all the GIS layers uh, and what is within our boundary so that we have our soils map or our photos and the contours and all of this. So there's a lot of behind the scenes that you should be aware of uh, that does take place and with uh, staff and your consultants to get that all neatly packaged. So we'll look to update that and, and uh, maybe a printed map for our wall in the conference room and that sort of thing once this is complete. Good. Any other questions? Any questions for Nick? Okay, manager's update, Manager Waller. I'm going to pass on that today since uh, Monday was so close. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Manager Bradley. I've been, once again, thinking about Centerville. Uh, yeah. man, trying to manage the, reaching out to the cities. In the, and I would think we would probably want to reach out to our uh, political partners first, followed shortly by reaching out to the homeowners because the homeowners are going to want to turn around and, and reach out to the cities. So mm. just get it in the right order. Yeah, yes. Thank you for that. Effort is underway. Great. <laughs> Thank you. Madge Wagaman. I have nothing. Okay. And I have nothing particular today, so I need a motion to adjourn. Wow. Motion to adjourn. Second. Motion man seconded. Any further discussion? Roll call. Madge Wagaman. Yes. Madge Waller. Yes. Madge Bradley. Yes. And Madge Priner. Yes. <clears throat> we are adjourned.